if you haven't already done so, 2023 is the year that you should be joining the Upland Metaverse. Upland is a metaverse that is mapped to the real world, and you can own virtual properties mapped to real world addresses. You can see here on the map that Upland has opened dozens of cities, with more coming in 2023. We've got Los Angeles, San Francisco, Manhattan in the United States, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Porto in Portugal, and Lucille in Qatar. You can see here that I'm actually taking a flight there, and you might think of all the places in the world, why would they open up Lucille, Qatar? And the reason is brand partnerships. Upland announced a multi-year partnership with FIFA ahead of the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, where players were able to own digital moments from the tournament, as well as historic World Cup tournaments dating back to the first in 1930. Upland also has partnerships with FC Porto in Porto, Portugal, the Manguera Samba School in Rio de Janeiro, and the NFL Players Association in many of the cities that are released in the United States. With Argentina winning the 2022 FIFA World Cup, Upland has announced that one of the next cities to be released in Upland will be Buenos Aires, and coming with that is the partnership with the Argentinian Football Association. So whether you want to be a real estate mogul in the metaverse or if you're a sports fan, this is the place to be. In this video, I'm going to go over all the different ways that you can become an Uplander. And that is the very first milestone that you have to achieve in this game in order to progress and in order to become a part of the metaverse. Now, before I go ahead and explain all of the different ways to become an Uplander, before you join the Metaverse, it's really important that you do use a referral code as you can get additional bonuses. Check out the link in the upper right hand corner or the description below to find all of the different bonuses that you can receive by using my referral code. Now, the easiest and fastest way to become an Uplander is to spend some money. The smallest amount of UPEX that you can purchase is 5,000 UPEX, which is five US dollars. So for the price of a coffee or a beer in many places around the world, you can level up from visitor to uplander, which will allow you to participate fully in the metaverse. Now I can appreciate that not everybody is going to be willing to put money into the game, especially when you're just checking it out. So I'm going to detail some additional ways that you can become an Uplander, but it's important to note that these other ways do take a little bit more time and require more strategy in order to become an Uplander. There are lots of opportunities for players regardless of which route you take, and this is why I think that Upland is an excellent metaverse for everybody. If you're looking to spend $5 or $0 or thousands of dollars within the metaverse, there's a place for you. One of the great things about Upland is its community and their willingness to help other players enter the metaverse and succeed. By owning a property in Upland, not only do you earn a monthly yield, but you also receive UPEX when a player visits your property. You are able to set the visit fee, and this varies based on the city, anywhere from 5 to 125 UPEX. If you're a visitor asking for people's help, you will want to max out the visitor fee so that when somebody does visit you, they give you the maximum amount of UPEX that they can for each visit. This means that with the fewest number of visits, you will be able to reach Uplander status. Additionally, as a visitor, if you log in every day for three weeks, you will receive daily UPEX bonuses. So these logins, in addition with the visitation fees from other players, can help you get to Uplander status. Now, how do you get people to visit you frequently? This is where you have to connect with the community. And the best way to do that is through the Discord server. You can check that out through the resources tab and discord. There is a visits channel and a community channel where you can go and reach out to other players and become a part of different communities. And those people will be more likely inclined to try and help you based on the effort you're putting in to join a community. The next method is best detailed on the Upland Guide website, which is linked in the upper right hand corner. And if we scroll down, the method is to mint five properties. This is the most difficult method as you really need to have all the stars aligned and you need to join Upland right at the correct time in order for you to actually execute this method. It is possible to mint five properties in Upland without investing any money up front, but it is extremely difficult and time consuming. On top of that, there's no guarantee that it's actually going to work and you might have to default back to the previous method of asking people in the community to visit your property in order to get you to the 10,000 UPEX threshold in order to become an Uplander. Your very first city release could be a very confusing experience 
and that is another reason why I don't recommend doing this method because you will most likely make some form of mistake on your very first city release. If you want to learn more about the city release process, take a look at the link in the upper right hand corner as it will help you greatly to understand what you can expect and hopefully prevent you from making mistakes. The steps that you have to complete in order to reach Uplender by minting five properties and the link to this is in the description below. The third method to reach Uplender status is by earning through treasure hunting. If you're going to adopt this model, it's really important to learn how to treasure hunt first because there is a learning curve to it. There's some resources in the description below and a link in the upper right hand corner. If you're going to adopt this as your strategy, I would recommend starting in Rutherford because it is the smallest city in Upland and therefore it is the easiest city to learn how to treasure hunt. You don't even need to own a property here. You get one free treasure hunt every single day and after that you can continue to treasure hunt but pay a small fee. You're able to save a varying amount of Upix from each treasure that you find and it is even possible to find Spark but for that you need to be an Uplander. You have five minutes to find this treasure and you can do this by clicking on properties and understanding the hints of where you need to go in order to find the treasure. At the end of the day, you have to be within 50 meters of the treasure itself in order to find it. So I'm going to send myself to this property. It's going to cost me 10 Upix. So if I'm going to want to make money, I want to get myself to this treasure using the fewest number of sends and sending myself to the cheapest properties. As a visitor, the send fees do not get deducted from your total UPEX until you become an Uplander. So if you notice that your UPEX is not decreasing when you use these sends, it's important to note that that will be deducted from your account once you become an Uplander. Here are paper airplanes that you can collect in order to get additional sends. You can hold a maximum of 11 sends at any given time. And once I find this treasure, then I will receive a varying amount of UPEX. Typically, it is the minimum. About 60 or 70% of the time you receive the minimum. Don't quote me on that number. But it is possible to find Spark at approximately 5% of the treasures. So here I've found this treasure. I can go ahead and collect it. Click here and I will see how much UPEX I will actually get. So I just won 120 UPEX. If I want to keep treasure hunting here, I can continue to do that, but now I will have to pay a 50 UPEX spawn fee. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make a lot of UPEX through this method if I try and do a lot of treasure hunts in one day. If you do choose to adopt this method, it's important to think what's going to happen once you reach this 10,000 UPEX threshold to become an Uplender. After all of the send fees that you used will be deducted from your net worth, how are you going to continue to grow? So it's important to think of that plan if you're going to start by adopting this method of treasure hunting to increase your net worth. As you can see with the three methods that I detailed here of minting five properties, asking for help from the community, and treasure hunting, they take a lot more time and effort than just putting in some money. Depending on your metaverse strategy and what you're looking to accomplish long term in the metaverse, you might find that growing from nothing or even investing only $5 might not take you very far. Every player needs to set their own personal goals and have a strategy. You can see some of the basic strategies in the link above or the description below, and that might help you find a bearing and a direction to start in the metaverse. Once again, check out the link in the description below to learn about all the different bonuses that I provide you when you sign up with my referral code. If you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Feel free to also email me or reach out to me however you like through the social media platforms that I manage. All the links are in the description below. Within Upland, my username is YK2012, so you can also direct message me there.